Meteorologist Ian Oliver is live tonight on Miami Beach, and Ian is waiting for the arrival of that storm. Uh, Ian, that slight uh, shift is still problematic for the city of Miami, Dade, and Broward counties, uh, as it still brings the stronger storm of the winds either over that large metropolitan area of, of Miami and Fort Lauderdale or just to the east of the landfall of that, which is where the stronger winds are. And then, of course, water is an issue as well. Yes, yeah, Steve, that shift is a major concern. The northeastern quadrant of the hurricane, that's where you see the worst of it. The most violent wind, the most violent rain, also the most violent storm surge. And because of that, a hurricane watch and a storm surge watch out for all of South Florida. That includes here at Miami Beach, where the temperature today, 94 degrees this afternoon, a record high temperature. So you can understand uh, people coming out to the beach trying to stay cool, trying to enjoy uh, the last of the tranquil weather. They're going to have to go, though, because we've seen a mandatory evacuation issued for Miami-Dade County, parts of it, Zone A, B, and parts of C. That includes 650,000 people, much of downtown Miami. That's the largest evacuation ever attempted by Miami-Dade County. You have these types of structures all along the coastline from here all the way up to West Palm Beach. And with that, lots of people in the path of the storm. And as you mentioned, what could be, in fact, the most violent part of Irma. Steve? I see some beachgoers there, Ian. Are, are, uh, what's the mood of the folks? Have you had a chance to chat with anybody? And then what are they thinking at this point? Yeah, we were going up and down uh, Ocean Drive, the historic uh, Art Deco district uh, here in Miami. One thing we noticed is people weren't going out to distribution spots for sandbags. People were literally coming to the beach with trash bags, manually filling up those bags into the back of trucks and leaving, doing what they need to do in preparation for the storm with winds really expected to pick up over the course of the day on Saturday. And you, as you would expect, you can see, uh, Dave, if you can show him over here, the hotel there, uh, uh, lower levels already boarded up. A lot of that, the local businesses up and down Ocean Drive uh, boarded up. Again, as you would expect with a hurricane of this magnitude, uh, about 600 miles uh, off to our uh, south and east. As we move on through the day tomorrow, I think the very last of the preps, really, that should be complete already, uh, those will become completed, and then we'll start to see this place uh, really clear out. Steve? All right, Ian. Be very careful down there, and, of course, we'll continue to check back with you and your reports. Uh, Ian's a meteorologist, so he knows... Uh, where the winds will be coming from and the intensity and we'll try to give you the best uh, advice possible down there as that storm nears the coastal areas but we're still talking uh, mostly on sunday here for the arrival of the storm still days away jen